Yo, 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 what is good with y'all boys? Today we're going to talk about our favorite manipulator, our favorite liar, and most importantly, you know, our favorite artist, Playboy Cardi, and his upcoming album, Music. The main discussion will be Playboy Cardi's highly anticipated album, like I just said, Music, if there's any chance of it dropping in 2024. Ever since Whole Lot of Red dropped, the Cardi community has been teased, edged, and hung out to dry by our favorite artists. First, it was a Whole Lot of Red Deluxe, then it was Narcissist, tell him clear the samples, then it was 004K Trey with Youngboy, and now it is music. It's hard to believe in five months it will be four years since Whole Lot of Red dropped on that historic Christmas day. For most fan bases, you know, four years is an absurd amount of time between albums. Sorry, Rihanna, Frank Ocean, Aesop, Rocky fans. But let's face it, you know, Rihanna is a billionaire. Frank Ocean had the tragic death of his younger brother, and Aesop Rocky is the luckiest man on earth being married to Rihanna. Anyone would be distracted by being married to her. I can't even blame bro. But usually, four plus years of waiting for a huge trap artist to drop is unheard of. I know Travis waited five years, but you have to remember the Astro Fest events he couldn't drop during that time. Besides him, I can't think of any trap artist that can go that long without dropping and maintain relevancy. And I'm not talking about the Kendricks of the world. They're bigger than the trap genre. Playboy Cardi is one of a kind. And he uses that to his advantage. Whether it'll work out in the end for him, you know, is kind of a whole other conversation. Let's take it back to the end of 2022. When the community got massively edged for the third time in two years. When Playboy Cardi, as his weird self usually does, tweeted out some weird stuff. And it instantly became trending. Saying, hello Twitter. <laughs> and then, I love my supporters, it's time. Well, obviously it wasn't time, because nearly two years later, and we still don't have an officially released song from Cardi on streaming platforms. Now, it might have been his plan to drop this time, but sadly, our goat Cardi decided to beat up his pregnant girlfriend. And the news broke out, and that will certainly ruin any rollout. I know it's really hard for all of Opium to not beat their girlfriend, but you know, here we are. After that complete edge from Cardi, we know that we got an even bigger one. Cardi finally drops in November of last year, which doesn't seem like that long ago, but it has been eight months since he dropped Different Day. But you know, any level-headed person would assume the rollout has been started by this drop. Then he dropped 2024. Then Hood by Air. Then Backrooms. And finally Evil Jordan and Ketamine. At a point, it just started getting old, you know. I loved all the songs and was very thankful to hear them. But you know, it's almost like Cardi is so scared to damage his flawless track record that he's repeatedly second guessing himself. And I think this shows by him not dropping these songs on streaming platforms, making them not official. I think Cardi has a problem. And I imagine being an artist, you are highly influenced by not only the people around you, but also the perception on social media. Even though Cardi has this mysterious personality he portrays, I truly believe he's on Instagram and Twitter more than the average person. When he sees a negative reaction, he scraps what he is doing and works on something else. The man is indecisive. And that can be a great or terrible thing as an artist. Being sure and secure with the music you're dropping is so important. If I'm correct, most of Whole Lot Red was made after he already announced it. The man is simply chaotic and indecisive in his work process, which like I said, can be great or terrible. Now I for one absolutely love the addition of Swamp Izzo potentially being on this project. He's been our middleman throughout the grueling wait for Cardi's next project, sort of like how, you know, Richie was during the wait for a whole lot of red. And we saw what happened to Richie. He received one placement on a whole lot of red out of 24 songs after being locked in with Cardi for months. And what seems to be happening now with Swamp Izzo? Well, he recently unfollowed Cardi on Instagram the other day, which caused some waves in the community. Which is starting to give off vibes that Cardi might be cutting him off too. We'll see. Either way, this is Cardi's most important project by far. He's been killing the features. Everything he touches goes platinum. But the fact is, there's not a lot of risk associated with hopping on someone else's song. 
And I think he even is wary of that. Especially with the reception Payne 1993 got with Drake, he completely changed the sound he was going with for a whole lot of red after the fact it got a negative reaction. One bad verse and he is slandered. And I truly believe Cardi is so indecisive and so insecure that it causes him to second guess himself. So, to answer the biggest question said at the beginning of the video, do I believe Cardi will drop in 2024? I hate to be a downer, but I believe the answer is no. There's been nothing to believe that he will drop anytime soon. Cardi is a ticking time bomb. Who knows the next scandal he will face for beating up another girl or getting caught with drugs going 120 in a lamb. You know, Cardi is our favorite artist. We want to see him drop his excellent music like he's always done, but you have to think at some point his indecisiveness will come back and bite him. Time will tell. Thank you guys for watching. I will have more videos coming this week. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And besides that, I hope everyone has a great night. Peace.